It is a pleasure for me to join the countries of the Caribbean in celebrating the second annual Caribbean Wellness Day, established by CARICOM heads of government to boost efforts to fight the growing epidemic of chronic non-communicable diseases. Chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, cancer, hypertension, and diabetes are today the leading causes of death in the Caribbean. Indeed, hypertension is the number one cause of death in the world, and yet eight of 10 people with hypertension are not properly monitored or treated. Chronic diseases are strongly related to a handful of risk factors that can be significantly reduced by adopting healthier lifestyles. This year's Caribbean Wellness Day emphasizes how different organizations and institutions can encourage their constituents to adopt healthy behaviors and how they can help people reinforce these behaviors on a daily basis. We are calling in particular on faith-based organizations, schools, and workplaces to play an active role in bringing about long-term behavioral changes. What can these organizations do? Faith-based organizations are uniquely positioned to promote healthy living by educating their members and others on a wide range of health issues and by sponsoring health-promoting activities for the whole family. Faith-based organizations and their social networks can support members by communicating and sharing information and by organizing health clubs and group walks, offering cooking demonstrations, and providing screening services to identify those at risk for chronic diseases. We know that healthy behaviors are established early in life, and this gives schools a special responsibility for creating environments that are supportive of healthy choices. This means establishing comprehensive school health policies and programs that promote physical activity, ensure healthy food options in school canteens, establish a smoke-free environment, and reach out to the entire school community, including families and the wider community. Employers also have an important role to play. Workplace wellness programs are a key part of the fight against chronic diseases. In the workplace, workers can learn about healthy living and can give each other support for practicing new behaviors. Employers can improve their workers' health and performance by promoting smoke-free environments in the workplace, providing facilities and opportunities to encourage physical activity, ensuring healthy menu options in workplace cafeterias, offering confidential screening for chronic diseases. In so doing, employers can improve morale and productivity and reduce absenteeism and healthcare claims. On this year's Caribbean Wellness Day, I encourage all partners in government civil society, the private sector, communities, and families to become champions for the well-being and health of all the people of the Caribbean and to combine the resources to promote physical activity, healthy eating, tobacco control, and health-seeking behaviors. There are specific steps that each and every one of us can take to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Eat a variety of fruit and vegetables daily. Exercise at least 30 minutes every day. Do not smoke. And be very strict and responsible with alcohol consumption. Let us all participate, support, and sponsor various Caribbean Wellness Day activities and use this opportunity to build ourselves 
a lifetime of wellness.